I'm Nancy Novograd. I have a company called All Tame Animals. We provide animals for movies, commercials, television, special events, ballet, and the Metropolitan Opera. Um, we work with everything from elephants to insects. All Tame has provided uh, horses and donkeys and dogs, a horse and a donkey for Boheme, four horses for Aida, and now we're, we have five dogs for Rosen Cavalier. But we have to have five dogs that get along with one another because they're in a small space, they're walking on stage and off stage together. And then we have to have dogs that walk nicely on leash. And a lot of the show dogs, which may not work for other kinds of work, work perfectly for this. First, they're beautiful, they look great from the audience, and they walk nicely on leash most of the time. So Rosen Cavalier is unusual because the owner slash trainer of the dogs is actually on stage with them in costume. And that's a very nice thing for both the dog and the owner because that's unusual. Usually it's, it's talent that is handling an animal in a production. Well, these are borzoi. So just like Afghan hounds, most you know countries have like a their sort of form of the greyhound that's Afghan, this is Russian, Scottish deerhound, Irish wolfhound, so fast running hunting dog. And this is just winterized for, for Russian weather. And they're they're retired show dogs. Well Borzoi in general are you know are a lot of fun. They have a lot of personality. You know, he is an early riser. I mean he's my rooster in the house. And you know, as soon as that sun comes up it's Sam is is a rescue from New Jersey Sheltie Rescue. We've had him for about eight years, and he's having a great time. This is his first opera. So today started out at 10 o'clock with, with baths and, and things like that because we have to get maximum floofiness, you know, for the stage. When you have a white dog, you have to have a clean dog because it will show. And, you know, we go for walkies, we come in, we groom, and then we sack out for a while and then we go on stage. They will recognize their, their cue to get up and get ready before I do, and things like that. They have a much better musical memory. I flubbed every audition in grade school, junior high, and high school, and whenever, because I never wanted to be on a stage ever. And guess where I made my stage debut? I think I would be severely freaked out if I ever looked in the audience, but I guess you're not supposed to do that, so. Well, this is Cinder, and she's a show dog. She's actually a grand champion. And this is Pansy. Pansy's a, a champion, also show dog. They look at the body type of a show dog, um, their coat quality. Uh, they check their teeth. They have a certain gait. Afghans have a certain gait um, when they go around the ring, and they're very fast. So this is their first opera and they've been very good uh, on stage. They don't seem to mind the audience because they're used to an audience, but they enjoy all the attention here. They enjoy meeting all the new people. They've had a good time with that. It's very um, interesting and exciting. These dogs love being pet and the attention they get from the cast members, everybody's happy to see them. And that's a lot of the positive reinforcement that they get for being on stage and they like that. Any kind of work enriches the bond between the trainer and the animal. And that is very positive and the animals like that. They, this is more time to spend with, for lack of a better word for a dog, their pack, their person.